Hello my fellow Brickheads, it is I, Galaxy of Bricks here once again and today's Lego set review is not what I originally had planned to do. I had planned to do the other set that I'd got which was the Dark Trooper attack set. However, I was a little bit short on time so instead I have opted to do a review of the second set that I picked up at the same time I got the Dark Trooper attack set which is this and it is set number 75. 265 which is the t16 versus bantha micro fighter set now this was released on the 20th of january 2020 so it's a couple of years old this one when it was initially released it was i think 17 pounds 99 or something like that i got it a little bit more than that i think i got it for about 22 pounds on amazon um, it came with a piece count of 198 pieces and it's quite an interesting sort of micro fighters build. I know that Lego started doing two pack micro fighters for a little bit, then they did the individual ones and now they've kind of done a couple of these ones again. This was a set that I was a little bit unsure of when I first saw it a couple of years ago when it came out. However, seeing it now has kind of changed my um, it's changed my opinion a little bit. So, without any further ado, let's go into the set itself. Now, as I said, this was released a couple of years ago, um, and it had um, 198 pieces when it first came out, and. Um, We'll start, as always, with the minifigures. So, first figure we get when you open it up is the Tuscan Raider. You know, um, the new Tuskins I think, are really nice because I like the, the gaffy sticks they've got, which are good accessories to have for a Tuscan Raider. You've got the Tuscan itself. You've got the detailing on the chest pouch. Um, you've got the... Um, headpiece as well and I mean Tusken Raiders have gotten a little bit more popular now thanks to M the Mandalorian TV series and also the um, Book of Boba Fett TV series which is um, quite interesting really because you you wouldn't get Tusken Raiders in many sets now and I think in the last couple of years we've had about two or three sets where you can get a Tusken. I mean I've got one well, now two, but the first one I got was in the Advent Calendar set that was released this, this Christmas. This is now the second one that I own. Um, again, nothing fancy, quite a generic figure. Looks really good. It, I mean, I wouldn't say you would build a, an army of Tuscan Raiders, but if you wanted to, it's not a bad way of getting them. Um, and now the second figure we get in this set is the T-16 Skyhopper pilot. Now, this is what he looks like um zoom in a little bit there for you there we go now he's got a quite a rebel-esque kind of feel to him so his helmet for example is one of the standard rebel helmets but obviously um t16 skyhopper pilots aren't rebels they're just generic pilots basically but he has that headpiece he's got a double-sided head and face so you've got one with the visor and his chin strap and then you've got one with a more smiley sort of face without the visor and then you've got all the detailing on the chest as well you know which i like i really like this dark shade of red actually i think that's really nice and i think it's a color that we don't see very often in a lot of figures this sort of shade so that was quite a nice sort of thing and you also get a blaster pistol with the um, Skyhopper pilot as well. So those are the figures you get with this set. Nothing fancy, two generic figures, but again, it's a micro fighter set. You don't get big things, you get two figures, these are the two you get. And the T-16 Skyhopper pilot is quite nice because you don't get many T-16 sets, which we will be discussing a little bit later. And Tuscan Raiders, they've released a couple, but again, this one is more of a play feature kind of set than it is an actual collector set. So that's kind of nice as well. We'll kick things off then with looking at the Bantha. Now, the Bantha itself 
is buildable. This is not how a banter is meant to look, by the way. It doesn't look this small. Banthers are actually quite big. They're quite hefty sort of pack creatures that live on the desert planet of Tatooine that um, the Tusken Raiders use for transportation. And they have sort of like a... Kind of like the relationship between human beings and horses in the fact that they... You can't see one without the other and, you know, they use them for riding, transportation, things like that. They share quite a strong bond and when a Tusken Raider dies, its banter dies as well, which is a fun little bit of trivia that I found out. There we go. Now, the tail does lift up, which is pretty fancy. You know, it's a nice little play feature. You can do things with that. You've got the, um, got the head as well with the horns and then you've got the eyepieces on either side. And then that's what it looks like at the top. That's what it looks like at the bottom as well. So that's your banther. Now, <laughs> I know it's a microfighter set. And it's, um, what can I say? It's a microfighter set and it's, it's ages six plus. You know, it's not designed to be something overly serious in tone. I think for a child's first build or one of you, if you start in getting into collecting, it's quite a good little set. And I think to get a banter that you can build yourself is um, really, really funky as well because I've got the ATAT or ATAT Walker versus um, Tonton Microfighter set. And that comes with a buildable Tonton, which is just a frame with a few accessories on this. You actually build from the ground up. And I like that. I think. One, until they release a full size micro figure, like minifigure scale banther, this will have to do. And it's not bad actually. It's for what it is, it's quite cool. I I think it's really good. And then we come on to the T sixteen Skyhopper, which looks like this in in micro fighter scale. So you've got the adjustable wings like that. You've got a um chin mounted um cannon and then you've got a couple of stud shooters at the sides which you flip the switches the stud shoots off which you don't see as often now because lego have changed the formula up a little bit for the um the what the how could i word it they've changed it up now for their sets and their micro fighters and things like that and their figures so they're not this sort of style of um stud shooter anymore but that's not a bad thing i think Given this was a couple of years ago, fully acceptable. You get, I think you get about ten or like eight to ten extra studs as well. So if you do lose one, you've got quite a few spare, and they're clear red studs. There's plenty of them. The T16 in canon is a sort of like a atmospheric speeder, so it's designed for like pilot training and transportation and cargo. A lot of pilots learn to fly using something like this on not just Tatooine where this set is based in, but you also have um, it on a lot of other planets as well. And it's one of the first sort of major craft that a lot of pilots learn to fly or get a feel for flying. And um, we do see a like a bigger version of this in Star Wars A New Hope. Luke Skywalker's there swooshing it about as he's... Um, talking to Obi-Wan Kenobi and stuff and it's and he's there talking to like Uncle Owen and stuff. It's it's a blink and you'll miss it cameo, but Luke Skywalker's got like an actual model one. They haven't released a version of the T sixteen, like a big version of this. I think it's about two thousand and fifteen was the last one that they released. So this is I know it's a micro fighter, but this is actually the latest iteration of the T16 that has been released in Lego form, the last full side version, which is about so big, was 2015, and that was part of the Star Wars Rebels line. Just to give you a fun little bit of trivia, I wrote this down because it was very complicated. With your banther, it's um, five centimeters high, 12 centimeters long, and four centimeters wide. Those are the dimensions for it. And your T16, it's seven centimeters high, eight centimetres long and three centimetres wide. So they're only, as you can sort of see side by side, they're both very small, very nifty, very nimble little pieces of Lego. 
you can easily fit them in a backpack. You can fit them in a case. You can carry them about with you. They're ideal for a child who wants to take something to occupy them and to play with. You know, they're not going to take up a lot of room. They would look really nice on display. You could have them posing, things like that. And that is what this is aimed at. Micro fighters are small, small, relatively affordable pieces of Lego that um, you can build, you can play with, you can carry them with you, and they're not going to take up much room. And that's the key to the micro fighters line. I was a little bit unsure of this when it came out because I was, you know, at the time I only collected a small amount of micro fighters, but it didn't interest me when it first came out. As I've gotten older and my collection's grown and I've started doing YouTube videos and I've started doing Instagram posts and I've started doing TikTok videos about my Lego and things like that, I have actually grown to quite like this one. And I think because I don't own the 2015 T16 set, which is ridiculous now, like a few hundred pounds or something on um, eBay and Britlink and things like that. and we don't really get a lot of sets based on Star Wars that aren't part of an on-screen theme. So, for example, there isn't a scene in any of the... To the best of my knowledge, anyway, I'll just say that now. There's no scene, to the best of my knowledge, where the T-16 Skyhopper and the Bantha go against each other. There's You see plenty of Banthas, because they appear in the first Star Wars film, and then you see them in The Mandalorian, and then you see them in some of the, anim the animated shows. And I think you see the T-16 briefly, but you actually don't see them together on screen. So this is kind of like a creative license, shall we say. Lego have been given creative license to take a property from the Star Wars saga and make a set out of it. And that's a good thing. I think... There are so many options in the Star Wars universe that Lego could go for. And doing something like this makes it so much more better because we don't always have to see the same generic rehashes of the same sets over and over again. We don't need to see four or five versions of the same set over the years. We as fans, or I myself personally, I don't speak for all Star Wars fans, I speak for myself personally... I like ideas that are a little bit different, a little bit quirky, a little bit off the cuff that you don't actually have to see on screen to like. And this, for me, fits that mould really well. And, I mean, the box art as well is actually really nice. I'll just zoom in a little bit there for you. you know, it kind of gives you free licence to let your imagination run wild. And I think something like this is ideal for those of you who are starting up your Lego collections or are looking to downsize and want to keep a few things, it's not the best Micro Fighters set you'll get. I mean, the one from The Last Jedi, which is the A-Wing versus Kylo Ren Starfighter Micro Fighter set, is really good. That's a very good buy. And the mini figure selection of Kylo Ren and um, the A-Wing pilot, which I think is... Um, the first time we've seen a female A-Wing pilot from The Last Jedi line is really good. And obviously, you know, you've had a couple of other sets as well where you've had the Ghost and the ATDP as a micro fighter set. You've had the... Um, you've had the connotations where they put the sets together but not in a two-pack. So this is quite a nice thing to go for. Would highly recommend you get this but you will pay a little bit more for it because of the fact it's a couple of years old now. I can say, when it came out in 2020, it was £17.99. I picked this up for about £23, something like that. So not much more because it's still fairly new in the grand scheme of things, but it's a little bit more than £17.99. Um, the... The thing that I liked most about it was just the fact that for the minifigure selection of the T-16 and the Tusken Raider, you know, the T-16 pilot is a good option to have in this set. And I think he's the standout of this set because 
you can easily slot him in with your rebel figures or you can stick him in the pilot of so in the cockpit as a pilot of an x-wing or a y-wing and you can let your imagination run and because you've got a load of Tuscan Raiders as well, if you wanted to do mocks where you wanted to create scenes from The Mandalorian or um, The Book of Boba Fett or you want to do a Tatooine mock, you've got options here with the Banthers and the Tuscan Raiders as well. So yeah, that's the end of the video, guys. Um, don't forget to like, share, subscribe. Leave any comments on what your thoughts are of this set. Have you got this? Did you like it? Was it a worthwhile purchase? Um, if you don't follow me on Instagram, please go onto my Instagram account and like and subscribe and share and everything, you know, do what you do. And it's the Galaxy of Bricks is what you're looking for. Also, if you don't follow me on TikTok, please do. That's also the Galaxy of Bricks. I've just reached 400 followers on my TikTok, which was absolutely mind boggling for me. I never anticipated that I would ever do that. And I've reached over 180 followers on my um Instagram account as well, so that was really good. Oh, that reminds me actually, just a quick shout out to one of my new subscribers on my YouTube account, Luke, or Renegades, as he's known on YouTube. Thank you very much. Your subscription is very much appreciated, and I like. I really hope you like the content that we put on. So until then, guys, enjoy the rest of your day, enjoy the rest of your evening, wherever you are. Look after yourselves, and I'll see you all very soon. Take care, guys. Bye-bye now.